and work out the area list as promised. You're going to need um, a small weight, a yoga block or a textbook, bear a band if you have it, if you don't, don't worry, and some sort of small chair. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do a little ground straddle press. Thank you, Aerial Physique, for this one. Looks really, really fun. <laughs> so we can warm up with some of these leg raises. You know the ones are amazing. And then we use the block and we raise Albert. And this should use some muscles here and down here that we use for straddle ups on silk as well as working your arms. So I'm going to suggest that you do six times three. So follow along with me, lifting up the butt six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, have a little rest. And if you need more of a rest, just pause me. I'm going to try and do my next six also lifting my feet. Uh, just do what you can. One, two, barely, three, oh, barely again, four, a little bit better, five, six. Oh my god. Whew. If you're finding it really hard, you might like a um, second textbook to get a bit more height on that. Okay, pause if you need, otherwise let's do a third set. Let's get this done. Hopefully you're following along with me. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. Okay, that's done. Thank goodness. So now we're going to have a bit more focus on arms. Don't hate me. We're going to do push-ups because push-ups are amazing, you don't need anything. So we're going to do 10 tricep push-ups. So your arm should do this. So our hands should be shoulder width apart. So we're going to start maybe like this, maybe already on your knees, and I'm just going to pop down to my knees when I need to. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, keep going, nine, ten. Woo! Okay, we're definitely gonna take a bit of a rest there. Maybe we can have some Archie TV on the rest. Archie, come on, come and say hi. Come on, Archie. No, okay. He's, he's being potato right now. That's fine, Archie. You do you. I'm not going to interfere with your little happy bubble right there. So we just did tricep push-ups for here. Next we're going to do wide, which will work your chest more. Also very helpful for aerials. So, you know, you just got to keep going. Start on your toes if you can. Drop to knees. And if you... Get to like five, six, and your arms are peeking out. There's a really great technique you can use where you just slowly lower and then hold off the ground. So that will work on building your strength. Okay, so we're going to do 10, this time wide. Woo! Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god. Okay, a little bit more of a rest. Third set, we're going to do diamond, which I find freaking difficult, and I can just bend my arms out that much. That's okay. I'm just doing my best. Drop to my knees and make the most out of it. Whew! Getting a bit sweaty. This is. Amazing. Okay, here we go. Diamond. Am I even going to start on my toes? Let's try one on my toes. Oh my god. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Okay, nice little arms 
stretch. He's earned it. Next, uh, uh, next exercise is going to be dips, so we'll just make sure we take a wee break there. I think it's working. My arms are feeling worked out. A little chest stretch. Okay, great. So for dips, we're going to use a chair like this. And our arms are tracking back like that, okay? Not like that, I don't know, nothing weird. Just arms tracking backwards. I do this with my fingers, my wrists are flexible. Um, I guess you could probably do that, although it makes it hard for your elbows to go where you want. So basically, we're just doing this. One, two, three, if you're like, oh, that's pretty easy. Or we could do something like this. I haven't actually tried this before, so let's see. Oh yeah, that's great. Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. ten. Okay, yep. Whew, I'm gonna stick with one set of those, but knock yourself out, go crazy. Okay. everyone has a table at home, you might need to get your friends to sit on the table so it can't tip over or anything. But my suggestion is, we do something like this. Get under that table and we can do chin ups. One, we'll do six. Two, three, four, five, six. And have a little rest. Check it out. And let's do that three times. One, two, three, four, five, Come here, my video. <laughs> Good boy. Okay. Go away. Go away. Go away. Actually, get down. <laughs> get down. That's it. Come. And one more set. One, Wait. two, three, four, five. So I'm just imagining if I could do chin-ups that fast in real life. Now I have an exercise you're going to love even more than chin-ups and push-ups. So I wanted to include this because it's really great for pressing like this. So we're going to do cobra and then scoot back. So you can rest the knees, depressing back with your arms, and then pressing up. So just use your knees as much as you need while still challenging yourself. Yes, Archie, really? That's how we do. Okay, so I'm going to suggest 10 of these, so have fun watching me struggle. <laughs> One, ooh, two, three. Dad, you are trying to keep the elbows tucked, or you can see I'm having some difficulty with that. Four. Five. Oh my god, why did I say ten? Six. Seven. <laughs> Eight, <coughs> nine, ten. Okay, you do ten. I'm really proud of you. Okay, now we're going to use our small weight or our dumbbell. So best to stand up, but I think I'm not framed in the video. 
So what we're going to do is press like that. So we're lifting up to here and then pressing up. So we'll do one arm at a time. Ten each side. Obviously, unless you have a baby or a dog, the second hand is not necessary. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. If you wanted to do the theraband option, again, I can't really stand up from the frame, but imagine I'm standing up. We would go lift. <laughs> okay, not that tight. <laughs> lift and press. So usually I use this in my um, slightly my theraband regime for warming up in shoulder prehab. So ten each side of that. What was it? Can of baked beans or something would be great. And lastly, we're gonna do the reverse fly. Um, so that's this is the reason why I made this video because I really wanted to show you something super cute that I have. Um, this 20 kg weight, I don't do anything with that. This is just for scale. But these, <laughs> 0.5 kg each, this is what I use for my um, reverse flies. So I'll just put that away. So the reverse fly can be standing up in this position. And we're just raising the arms like this. Nice and light. Scapula retracted, hang on. Scapula coming down and raising out like that. So we can do 10. One, two, three. 